It's the Wayne County Football Show with Marshall Wood and head football coach Jack Hankins. Brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank. All the information you need for Wayne County football. Welcome everyone to Wayne County High School War Eagle Football. Coach Hankins, are you ready to go? Ready to go, ready to fly. Well, let's go. <laughs> Wayne County versus Meridian. What about those baby war eagles? You know Let's what? Just get started I with like that. it. Well, let me go ahead and tell you because I've had two, three, four people ask me what the score was. It was eight to eight, and yes, I know a tie is like kissing your sister, right? <laughs> we did some good things. Um, had a touchdown called back that I thought we had blocked extremely well, but then things happen, and uh, we found out some guys that. that could play and that would strike you and, and we found out where we need to improve and that's you know a lot of different places but yeah. with the practice time we had with those guys and I'm telling you we, we scrambled there uh, in that last day or two we had a couple of guards come up with the flu and I'm going to tell you that hurt our football team and I know that sounds like an excuse it's not an excuse when two of your top starters are out that's been there all spring so right. that kind of that kind of hurt us a little bit so we were juggling I saw a lot of good things. I saw uh, Steve Morgan run run so fast. <laughs> they, couldn't, that they couldn't catch him, you know, on several plays. You know, he scored on that jet that was called back, and uh, he scored on the 80-yard touchdown pass. And He's got heart. He's got speed that'll break your heart. Yes, sir. <laughs> he, he can cut the lights off and get in bed for his dark speed, Marshall. But uh, he's fast. He's not a small guy either. No, he's not. He works hard. Uh, Steve does a good job. Steve did a good job. Uh, Defensively, we, we had some guys that really did a good job. And uh, I tell you, we, we played extremely hard. You know, they scored their only touchdown was on a pass on fourth down right at the end of the first half. And, boy, we hit him right there about the five-yard line. He mm. broke our tackle. So, our young man was in place. We just missed that tackle. And we'll get stronger and get better with that. Uh, you know, other than that, at times it looked like we were fixing to get blown out. But we just hunkered down and we found a way. Never and quit. I, I love that attitude yeah. by these guys. These guys can be special if they'll stay together and grow up together and, you know, do, do some good things. So I like the Baby War Eagles. They, they did a good job as a coach. I'm just not going to lie to you one bit. I want to see us block better and execute better. Mm -hmm. And I know we'll do that as we get to spend more time with each other. And we're, I'm going to make it my business to do that. Yeah. we got to get better up front. I don't expect you to, to say anything particularly about this. I'm just a fan, so I can say this. You know, you look at that group as a, as a fan like I am, and you see, you know, a good quality group. But now walking among that group, <clears throat> there are some several kids that appear to me to have special talent. And we're not calling any names, but I mean, yeah. folks, just, you know, I'm telling you right now, next fall when the ninth graders play, you want, should be fun to you, watch. <laughs> you want to see them play because they played a bunch up there in Meridian. Now everybody in the world knows that Meridian's loaded they with were. athletes. Yes, and that bunch they ran out on that field yeah. was not anything. To, you're not going to see kids like that every time. No, so that was a good bunch. So I, can't, I, I can't wait. But now listen to this. <coughs> uh, we got a schedule out that's come out for next year. A gotcha. football schedule, a varsity schedule. All right, and. Uh, I've kind of let's let's talk about that for a minute. I mean, some things that I see. Uh, there's a pretty good number of home games on that thing. Well, it is. You know, we we kind of we got things worked out with equipment, so and I was glad to do that on a Thursday night. Well, after after that, it's kind of like we just everything just kind of fell in place. Uh, Jackson was looking for a preseason game. We got them here, and and Tyler Town Tyler Town had called me. Yeah. And they were really looking for. The, I, I don't know why, but they wanted to try when they wanted to come to Wayne County. Maybe they thought we weren't very good. I don't know. But I know they're very good, <laughs> and I know they were 12-1. Yeah. and one. I know they have an outstanding track program, mm. and thank goodness they graduated two guys to the SEC last year. So we know that's going to be a good game. And, Marshall, I, I told our kids and uh, for all our War Eagle Nation, we we got to get better. If that means we got to play better people, if that means even if we lose a game in those non-district games, I don't ever want to go through a, through a stretch to where we lose our last three by nine points or, we, man, 14, 13. I, I'm trying to do things to get us better and see different spread teams that will rival Hattiesburg and Laurel and West Jones. And, mm -hmm. you know, this, this playing close and coming up with an L, that's not acceptable. Yeah. You know, we're not going to play close and lose. We, we want to – we want to get over the hump. And I, I'm hoping – I know Jackson runs a good spread and they've got a Hall of Fame coach that's their offensive coordinator and a really super fast back in the backfield. 
Um, I know Tyler Town's got speed everywhere. Well, you, you know, you got to mention Oak Grove. Oak Grove's good every, at every position. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I'm excited about that. You know, I'm excited about the competition. Yeah, I want to win every day. One of I every one of them. But if that makes us better, and we can sit here this time next year and say, you know what? We're not in a five-way tiebreaker for first. We didn't lose three games by a combined nine points. We found a way to push through that. Okay. So that's – I just believe that makes you better. And this football team's got a lot of better to do. Yeah. We can get a lot <laughs> – we can get a lot better. There you go. Yeah, I'm excited about uh, seeing that the Oak Grove thing. You, you Oak Grove has was, was, was been, been a big rivalry for us through the years. And when we played them the first five or six times, we beat them every time. And they've got to run a five or six or seven right now beating yeah. us. Well, they got a great uh, program right They now. got a great outstanding, program. Outstanding players they, in their position. they got a new offensive coordinator over I there do. this year. This is Wayne County born and raised. Yes, he's sir. a good one. He's, he's a, a good, good one. one. He's, and, I've uh, met him, and he's been very, very, very kind to me. And uh, I always I'm very grateful for that. Corey Reynolds, we're excited. Absolutely, yeah, Corey we, does. Yeah, he's going to do a great job for those guys. Mm -hmm. Let's look now. We see some games down here in red uh, now. Uh, let's, uh, of course, that's uh, that. What's that red mean? That red means we're going to travel. We got, okay, I got you. So our our away games are and really they're not bad. Marshall, we go to Pascagoula. I know that's not just an easy trip, but that's that's straight. That's straight mm -hmm. um, go to South Jones, which that's not far. Go to Brookhaven, which is another two-hour four-lane mm -hmm. shot, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, Hattiesburg and West Jones is our away game. So, yeah. I, I, I like our schedule. <clears throat> um, I just – we need folks to come out and get behind these yeah. kids. And, yeah. again, man, you know, when that crowd – and this – and <clears throat> I'm talking to you, I'm talking to our listeners, when that – when those stands are full – the kids have another sense of pride about it. They don't call it College Station and the 12th man for nothing. It gives you an <laughs> edge. If yeah. home field advantage, if your crowd didn't mean anything, then, then there would be no home field advantage. Yeah. yeah, That's important, those kids, man. They're seeing that people are, in, are invested in them. That, that's, I just think that's – I think it's huge. Yeah. Well, I think what the people in Wayne County are going to see is they're going to see a program that's on the rise and going to get excited about it. And I'm going to trust that good, good judgment and excited about football are going to fill the stands. We're open about that. Okay. Anything else about next season's schedule you want to hit us with? Think, no. Okay. You talking about when we? You talking about the twenty twenty three seven A deal? Well, no. We're, we're, that's coming up next. Okay. You 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 give us a segue into that. No. Now, this is just for the future. I mean, and this really is just we don't know what's coming, but you know, this is a new thing for Mississippi, the seven mm -hmm. classifications, and we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna add a seventh seventh classification. We're not sure. We're, we we're probably gonna stay in five A where we are. We're not sure about that yet because the counts won't happen until October. Sure. Uh, but what one thing that I see they're going to be they're going to be uh, what six instead of eight teams in a district there's going to be six teams yes, sir. in a district so but they're still going to take four teams to the playoffs from each team. yes sir so what they're telling us when the new seven a there'll be six um, teams four in each classification of course two north two south mm -hmm. and that's going to give you twenty four. Um, and I know it was a hit in Alabama, but I know over there that, that was much needed because there was such a great disparity. You know, you're talking about 68 in <laughs> classes, and now there's still 68 in a lot of classes, but you just took the – over there they took the top 32 at the time, moved those guys up, and they, they, there was a huge disparity, and it kind of made, made it a little bit closer. Um, I think it's a good move by the Mississippi Athletic yeah. Organization. I, I think it's – well, first of all, you create another championship venue, and, and, you, and you get teams a little more equal playing field. I, I can't remember now. I did the math back when I looked at it. Marshall, if I'm not wrong, I, I kind of – somewhere around 200 was all only difference between 5A, the number one and number five. You're getting – and it may have been less than that. I wouldn't even say in the 170s. You get people closer in size. You don't have um, – I don't know, let's just shoot from the hip here – a 2,000 – Oak Grove versus uh, somebody else in six A. They may only have a thousand. That's a thousand kid difference. Well, you know, in, in wrestling and in boxing and mixed sport, you got weight class. That's right. It, it does matter. That's right. It does matter. <laughs> so uh, that that's what that's what you got going on. I think it's great to create a little parity. I think it's great to help help teams kind of stand in there a little bit on their own. Um, again, creates another championship venue. How, how awesome is that? You know, to create another championship game. That, that's not bad. Yeah. Um, I, I absolutely like where, where the state's headed with that. Yeah. Well, now listen, uh, there's one more thing 
I want to talk about right here sure. and uh, before we take a break, and that's some news that we got today about the academic performance of Wayne County High School athletics, as well as particularly what we're interested in here today is Wayne County High School Oregon football. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I see that uh, that our team average, you know, we what do they call this? It was the, what is the award that we got here? Now? Well, what you got, they, uh, the Mississippi High School Activity Association, they, you know, we recognize the academic achievement among our sports teams, okay? Well, to get this award, you have to have the, uh, the bare minimum is a 3.0, which is a B average, okay? That's the bare minimum. And uh, your I team, want, your whole team, your the whole team, collective kinda, with everybody, okay. yes, sir, with everybody. And uh, we, we did that, and um, you know, Marshall, and these guys are student athletes. I know when I got here, when you talked about it, my first report of the grades I got here, and Coach Hathorn reminds me often because we're not there now, but you know, we had 59 F's on that first report, and you know, I we're, we're we're well under that now, you know, and I say under that, well, we might have two or three, you know, and that we that and that's two or three too many. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh just as a, the whole sports girls and boys, the whole athletic association did it. Um but as a football team, our part of it was a three four four. And uh that that's that's very positive and that's that's good to know. Um, you know, the GPA for all of our sports, Marshall, everything is three point seven, um and you know, some and some change. So our, our coach is doing a great job. Um, I want to add to this. We're talking about a four-point scale. That's right. That's <laughs> right. That ain't bad. It, I was in school some time ago, and, you know, I know how hard it is to top that 3.0. And that's a that's 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 over that's a B huge. average. It, it is it is huge, and and people, especially football players, get a knock on that about being a bunch of dumb jocks. Yeah, You've heard it. Always have. Been. But you know, yeah. we we try to hold these guys to the standard, and that's our standard. You know, we're going to be student athletes. We we've got. Marshall, we've got to get our degrees, and we have to graduate, and there's a whole bigger thing going on besides Friday night football. And don't get me wrong, that's important, and we're here to win football games. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. The you thing, the other thing is going. But right now, Coach Hankins and I are going to take a break to hear from some of our sponsors, and then we'll be back to talk a little more War Eagle football after the break. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, extreme guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located at 1510 SLU Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. 
Oh boy, the things that happen around breaks. But anyway, we're back, Coach Hankins and I, and uh, you were talking about the, the accomplishments academically, and I want to pick back up on that right quick, and I want to okay. go back to some things I heard you say. And I want our people to know this, that academics are important to you. And when you came here, you had been here, uh, you know, I, I watched you when you had your first bunch of eighth graders up here last year in the spring, and you were out there talking to them about grades. And you were out there, and I heard you calling names out and say, you've got so many absences this year. Mm -hmm. You've got this many. You knew what your kids were doing. And and you one way to make your GPA for your team to go up is if you don't have the grades, you're not on the team. That's exactly right. Which makes that priority number one. That's right. Well, you know, it's their job. We want them to take ownership of it. And, Marshall, you got – the bare minimum is to remain eligible. That's the bare minimum. That's not the accepted standard. Yeah. That's the bare minimum. You have to remain eligible. And look, we we sometimes as as guys sometimes grades aren't the first thing that comes in across our mind. Um, yeah. But it's got to. I yeah. mean, you're talking to a guy that spent 25 years teaching advanced biology and anatomy and physiology and and that kind of things and. You know, I know, and this in college when I played, and and it's probably gonna sound wrong, but I was more, I was, a, I was an All American in college, and I just punted the football because we weren't very good, so we punted a lot. I got a lot, of, <laughs> I got a lot. Of, but what I was more proud of anything else, I was on the All Academic team and All Academic GSC, and yeah. I, I wanted to prove that you can do grades and do ball and yeah. and do those things. If got to go, hand, it's all about habits, Marshall. You yeah. got to create the right habits and. You probably heard me tell them. I mean, look, how you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah. You can't go there across the road and be in those classrooms, and we can't act like a bum and then expect. Oh, oh, it's two o'clock. It's football time. Three. All of a sudden, we're gonna come over here and just be excellent at something. Yeah. Well, we haven't been in the habit of being excellent all day. Why all of a sudden, just because we like football? Yeah. No, we're gonna resort back to our habits. So yeah. we're crying. It, it, it's a work in progress, and you have to be consistent. We're trying to create champions in the classroom, and they don't know how stubborn I'm going to be about this. That's that's very important. Well, you know, you talk about habits. You know, there was a very successful book written years ago called The Seven uh, Habits of Highly Affected People. So habits, you know, good habits yield good results. And, yes, sir. And, and we're excited about that. I just want to touch on that again because that's, that's so important. Now, uh, Kind of, kind of change. It's similar, but we're going to kind of change. I want to ask you, you know, in terms of, you know, for for you and high school coaches. You think throw me a curveball? Well, I, I I'm gonna try. All right. But <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off. My elbow's a little sore, but I'm gonna try. You know, what's your end game? I mean, here you are, a football coach at Wayne County High School. You've been over at Thomasville. The other guys coaching all around. The what is what is your end game? As a what uh, your ultimate goal as a head coach of a bunch of high school kids? Ooh, that's uh, that's big. That's deep right there, brother. Well, I, I've been known to be deep. That's deep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you, deep in you, over my head. That's right. <laughs> We've all been there, man. Well, he, he, here's the thing: you got to look at what what are, what really are your goals? And this is Marshall. I feel like I'm blessed to be here. I mean, this, this is not a job I take lightly. You know, I'm getting to do what I chose to do from a very early age, I believe I got to give account for that one day. Amen. I believe it's bigger than Friday night wins and losses, which I know that's what ke- hey, I know that's what keeps my job. I'm not, you know, I understand that. Uh we're failing miserably as coaches in America cuz I think sometimes we're the last resort. We're failing miserably if we're not teaching these guys to be good employees to be good sons for their families, to be one day to be great husbands and to be great fathers. I, I think we fail miserably. If, that, if we don't teach the values and the morals and the integrity and work ethic, you know, that that's kind of, Marshall, I want to say it, it's, our, it's our mission statement. Yeah. I mean, our mission statement is to win, listen to me, it's to win the 5A football state championship while instilling character and integrity and morals that are second to nobody i mean that that's every day that's my mission i, I got him i mean i look at it, i read it every day and um you know you can teach a lot about life and the response to adversity 
through sports. <clears throat> it's with it's with it's with any sport, but especially football. Yeah. You know, we all go through tough times. We're all gonna have we're all gonna have to deal with adversity, and we get to walk it and live it every day. Yeah. But man, we want these guys to be to be great husbands and be great daddies and to be great workers. Great um, in real life. Absolutely. Not slamming on football. We love it. No. You dedicate your life. Absolutely. To it. But we gotta be great at life. Don't yeah. throw this stat at you. Not just this is just a I hadn't this is not a, a an accumulation of fifteen or sixteen internet researches, but this is a quick shot. You know, I mean everybody every kid, you know, that's interested in athletes, I won't play in the NFL, I won't play college mm -hmm. football, I won't play well, you know, so many of us do. You know, there's one million ninety three thousand two hundred and thirty four high school football players in the United States of America. Six point five five percent or seventy one thousand and sixty will make it to play in college. Mm -hmm. So uh not very many get to do of us get to do what we want what we dream of doing when we're Absolutely. children. Absolutely. But there's a lot that we can do and that's mm -hmm. to learn how to be good men. That's right. We you we know? can we can do that and man we, we're responsible for the next generation and we that that's important. Yeah. Man, that's so important. And Marshall, what's even the most sad thing that you see, and not to, to put a sad tint on this, but you get guys that may have the ability to go to the next level but don't have the grades or the ACT. I, 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 sadly, I've seen that. And, and that's that's really what I – man, that, that's the worst. I, I, I want to, Marshall, with everything in my body to avoid that. If we got a guy that can play, we we got to get a guy the next level. we got to we, – we can't come up his last year and all of a sudden he hears how important grades are. Well, you've had three years of, of – you know, opportunity wasted. No, we're going to start that early and stay on that. And, uh, you know, we got a great administration team that supports us and supports these kids learning. And uh, we're getting some of them tutoring now when we have to. And, you know, we, we – we got some good teachers in that building now to go extra and work hard for these guys. So I, I, I'm I'm thrilled to death. We're getting there. Am I where I want us to be? No, absolutely not. But we're getting there. We're making strides. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna keep we're gonna keep on keeping on because we're we're student athletes. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. I, I want to this is kind of in the same line and you don't know this question's coming and I may forget what it is by the time I could ask it. But I heard you say something in our interview on our last show. What's and that? You said one of the things you, you have to do is to sell this program to colleges. Oh, absolutely. Now, explain that. I heard you say that, and you explain that selling this program to college. Well, first of all, they I've done this a long time, and I've heard coaches come through, and, and we have a lot coming through here. Uh, they they don't – it's just – let's don't even talk about us, but, you know, if you got guys that go from your high school and maybe – you got three or four of them go out and they, they quit their first couple of months there or, or you got guys that are not known for working hard. You know, schools sometimes don't want to take a chance on that. With a transfer portal and them being able to handpick other guys from other colleges and, and I got my own thoughts about that later. That's yeah. not for here. But, um, you know, you kind of get a reputation of guys come through and say, you know what, I, I want guys that come from that program because I know they're going to work hard. I know they're going to go to class. You know, I know that they've had the same expectations with their high school coach that we have for them here. Because mm -hmm. you're talking about college, Marshall. I know it's not NFL, and you can call it what you want to. College football is a big business. It <laughs> is a big business. And you go to one of these bigger schools, and they're going to invest over four years. It's going to come out to about $7,500, $100,000. They're not going to recruit a bum to come to that school. Well, we've already discussed what it costs to get a player on the field here. That's right. So, I mean, think about the travel they Boy, incur. I mean, so planes and buses. Yeah. And everything. So I, I just think you know, and that's why we we have it open, and college coaches come out and they watch our kids practice and they watch the hard work, and I, they they want kids from a program like that. Yeah. They want them. You know this 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 is a perfect segue into this this statement slash question. All right. You do. You're kind of strange. I hope you realize that you well, do. So. That. Is <laughs> you, that a compliment? That's a compliment. I don't know that's, that's a compliment. compliment. You're not normal. I don't but, know okay. if I've been called strange and abnormal on the air before. Okay, you do some unorthodox things, coach, in trying to lead these kids into being good decision makers, people who are responsible citizens, husbands and fathers. We have talked about attendance, grades, effort, respect, authority, and how you approach that. I want to talk to you about the twin thieves. What? Oh goodness! Wait a minute. What? Why? Go. How, go, about, how about that? that? All right. You done, you done stole you done stole a book, hey. <laughs> well, our twin thieves. All right, so here here we go. 
people don't, they're going to think we're both crazy, aren't they? <laughs> well, folks, probably what, right. <laughs> what Marshall's talking about, we got our, uh, we got a leadership council, and I hope to get all the kids to go through it. We're doing a book study now, and that's right. I said book study with a football player. We're going to, yes, they can read, okay? <laughs> and we're, we're. Uh, this is just one of the books that I, and look, I've always heard readers are leaders, but, you know, when you want to, Marshall, I, maybe it's not, maybe I'm not real smart, so I want to read and find out and learn as much as I can from all the other people. You know, it don't matter from who it is, from, from reading Kobe Bryant to uh, Rick Pitino back, and Coach K. I, I've tried to study on all the great ones and great teams, and we come across this book, and it's an absolute, uh, not thriller, but it's an absolute one of the best books I've read about leadership and team building and trust building. Mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, it's about how, great leaders build great teams and Marshall talent can only take you so far yeah. if you got a talented team and you're not together and you don't respect respect each other you're going to struggle man so we're, we got our guys walking through this and we're trying to discuss this and we meet after school one day a week and we discuss it and you know so many kids so far once we've started it's funny you mentioned that um they said coach did you get this book on purpose, I was like, well, of course I got on purpose. It's talking about us, you know. It's talking about us. I, I see, I see, and I was like, well, man, it's talking about any team, it's, any team in America. Amen. So uh, yeah, we're just all. yeah, we're just doing a, a little book study with that. Nothing hard. I ain't I ain't giving them a, a pop quiz or a test. But the kids have, you know what? Our kids have enjoyed reading it, and they have some great feedback. And I've enjoyed walking through it with. Them. Now we hadn't, you know, finished it all. We're just we're just kind of. In infant stages, but it's it's been enjoyable. They they're learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about them too. Well, and you know, have, I've read the book and I've got millions of notes made on it. And I mean, this is good for business. This is good for everybody. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, the twin thieves. Now, uh, I, I, it's well, you I guess we can tell them, Marshall, what what the twin thieves is talking about is is basically reasons why. We fail at doing the absolute best we can do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, the twin thieves. Marshall talks about what are the thieves? Well, it's the, it's the thieves that's robbing us of really, you know, like a thief robs you. It's robbing us of being the best we can be, of being elite. Yeah. And you know, as you read that book, it's that one thief is the thief of the. I guess you could say the fear of failure. Yeah. You know, kids don't want to try because they're afraid to fail. There's no need for me to do that. I can't do that. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you, you know, I tell them. We like, all experience Yeah, that. we do. When, when we're maxing on weights, and I see some guys, like, they may try, let's just say, 350, for example, on the squat, and they don't get it. Man, I said, man, I'm proud of you. At least you, try, you tried and failed rather than you sit there and wondered, could I do that? Yeah. Could I not do that? Yeah. So that's, that's one of the things, fear of failure. Another one, and this is really big, and I didn't really realize this until I really went through the book and then going through it. The fear of judgment. Those guys get, they get afraid. You know what their peer, what their peers think of them is really, really important. Yeah. From being a, a try hard, so called try hard, or kiss up, or you know, if I try hard, maybe I'm gonna get janked on in school because I'm gonna be labeled the teacher's pet, or I tried to do this too too much. You know, something like that. Yeah. Winning teams got a bunch of try hards. On Winning teams got a bunch of. Them. <laughs> So, uh, you know, that's just where we are this day and age. I thought it was a, a neat way to maybe try to bring us together a little bit more. One thing uh, I want to mention, and we're gonna, I'm going to hope that we're going to have some more discussion on this book, is, is, is I like this. I mean, you're developing leadership, and, you know, you're doing going the extra mile to develop leadership among your team. And one of the things this book says, on bad teams, nobody leads. Yes, sir. On average teams, coaches lead. Yes, sir. But on elite teams... Players, players lead, lead. and if players don't know how to lead, they can't lead, and you're teaching them how to lead. That's this right. book does that. You know, I, I go back to Florence, like 2021, and you made this comment, we weren't doing so well at the half, and you watched your kids at that time, it was a glimmer of hope. You said, I remember you told me, you said it looked like they were getting it, and they were talking mm -hmm. about what to do, and mm -hmm. so... Uh, they, you let them handle it themselves. That's right. And they fixed it. They did. We, we are, we're able to do that. And I tell you, I've, I've had teams that, that, are been, that have been able to do that. But it's, Marshall, you know, an off season is a great time to do that. Yeah. We, we, we try to do different, we try to do different leadership things and bring in different speakers and different ways to, you know, it, everybody learns a different way. And, and I may say it till I'm blue in the face, but you come in and say it, they may, oh, I get it. Or, or if it's, you know, kind of like I've heard people relate this with their son. Well, you tell my son this, you know. I may be saying the same thing you're saying just because it comes from a different person they may hear. So 
we're just trying to see how we can foster better leadership yeah. and not just in this building for football yes football but in life across across the street in those hallways yeah. and, and just man if we can get we can promote great leaders it, i'm telling you man football is going to be easy amen brother well coach it's exciting what's happening here at Wayne County High School, World of Football, the direction you've got us going and your staff and our kids, the direction our kids are choosing to go. Man, what can we say? Our time's about to expire. The horn is blowing, so we got to go. Remember to follow us on Facebook at War of Football and on YouTube at Wayne County High School, World of Football. Let our sponsors know that you appreciate them, and let us encourage you to find a way to get involved and support this program. But now, Wayne County High School, World of Football, Marshall Wood, Jack Hankins, one, two, three, we out. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, Extreme Guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, Extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories, and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located at 1510 Azalea Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Thanks for listening to Wayne County Football Show, brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank.